Hey Cherries, Natalie here, and I'm starting a new series for Cherry on Top today called the Freshen Up series. And we're gonna take our stash tools and supplies and freshen them up with new items and make sure we use them. And today we're gonna focus on stamps, particularly using small stamps in our scrapbooking to make a big impact. So I totally got this technique from Missy Whitten. She's been doing a lot of this lately and I wanted to try it and it works perfectly with this first part of the series that we're doing. So I chose four small stamps and they're actually from multiple stamp sets. So this is a good way to use a lot of your stamps. Um, but I chose some leaves and I put gesso on this background paper and I am using my Distress inks. I chose three fall colors. I have that other copper one there, but I'm not using that. Um, and I'm just randomly placing the stamps all over the page. I'm making sure to run them off the page and making sure to change the direction. And this is a good way to create your own pattern paper with your stamps. So you bought these stamps because you like them and because you want to use them, but I hear so much that you don't use them. So this is one way that I suggest you can use them. And if you are worried about not being a great stamper, if you're worried about not um, stamping perfectly, this is a good technique to use because it does not require perfection. First of all, well, you can see right there, I just kind of got a streak of um, ink. I'm sorry, I got a streak of ink in the way, but that's okay, because this is a watercolor technique. So I put gesso on the page first, but you could also just do a strip of paper too. If you're really worried about messing up the background, you can just do a small strip of paper to use as a layering bit on your page, and you won't mess up an entire background. But if you are gonna back stamp on the background, I suggest doing it first. So if you do mess up, you can just restart and it's only a little bit of cardstock that you're out. So I've stamped all these distress inks down on a gessoed piece of paper. And now I'm just adding a little water. And so what it's doing is smearing the stamps and it makes them look like they were watercolored on. Um, it's a really fun way to, first of all, hide any kind of um, distressing or um, imperfections in your stamping or your ink streaks that you accidentally got on there. We will talk about how to avoid that <laughs> but also i'm making sure to let some of the patterns still show um while smearing some of the other bits and i just really love the way this looks it has a really beautiful look to it and um like i said i learned to do this from missy wooden but this is a good technique to use with your small stamps now over on the blog today is a whole lot of other examples and techniques to use for small stamps. So there's all kinds of ways to use small stamps to make a big impact on your page. This is just one of the ways, but check out the blog. I'll link it down below because there's literally probably over a dozen examples of what you can do to freshen up the stamps that you already have. Now, if you don't have stamps or if you don't have the perfect stamp, please feel free to go buy some because we always need to be growing our collections, right? They're collections. They're not stashes or hoards their collections <laughs> so i'll link down below also with my affiliate link and you can use that um, to go buy new stamps and adding new stamps to your existing collection is another way to freshen it up so one thing to freshen up um maybe these stamps that are older is to pair them with bright and light so the style right now the trend tends towards light and bright which i really love so instead of maybe taking this fall palette and putting it on more of a cream i stamped it on bright white and i think that alone makes it um kind of more new and and um crisp and and following the trend but I still get to use those beautiful fall colors, but it just doesn't make it dark. And plus these um, die cuts, which are from Fancy Pants, are bright white. And so I love that because it lends to keeping it fresh, right? So um, now what I'm going to do is a little risky. I am going to stamp directly in the background after I've already built my layout. But I told myself, well, first of all, I'm going to fussy cut these stamps, but I end up do, doing some stamping on the background. But I told myself, 
in the little areas that I do end up stamping in the background, if I messed up, they're easily fixable. I could either add splatter, which I don't end up doing, but I could do that. I can always add splatter and make the imperfections seem almost intentional, or I can just cover them up. I could add another embellishment and cover it up. And I totally have done that before as well. So I'm, I'm taking my fussy cut um, stamp and I'm adding it in with this embellishing. And then I'm like, nope, I need to stand directly on the paper. So I know it's risky y'all, but again, you gotta remember too, it's just paper and you can always cover it up. You can always add a sticker, you can add sequins, you can add another die cut. There's so many options to cover it up if you mess up. So um, anyway, yeah, I am adding a little bit of stamp and I like the doing this because I'm adding this two dimensional stamp just directly onto the background and then I add the fussy cut bit which kind of gives it a 3d especially if you pop it up with some pop dots or something and then you also add that additional embellishment which is a full color non-stamped image so I like the contrast of all three of those together and so I just create a little cluster and I do one up with hair at the top and so I also like how I'm using the different stamps that mimic the stamps that I used over on the left hand side on the pattern that I built. And so I'm using different colors and stamps that mimic the ones over there on the left, like I just said, sorry, I repeated myself. <laughs> but um, yeah, and just building these little clusters. And if I had messed that up, um, then I would have just covered it up. But if you notice when I was stamping with my stamping block, I made sure to use my wipe first. If I got additional ink on the block that's outside of the stamped stamp on which I wanted to ink it up, I use that wipe to wipe it off. And that's your best bet of not getting ink smudges on your area of stamping, especially if you're trying to be really pristine about it. Um, but also just doing the fussy cutting technique and even using your stamping um, platform will also avoid that. So you could, I could have fussy cut all of these types of stamps, even though the other ones are really small, but I could have fussy cut them and then I wouldn't have worried about messing up the background if that is something that you stress about. So I'm just adding a few little embellishments here with those little Prima um, enamel type dots and that's it. I'm really happy with this layout, how it turned out. It was a super fun technique and I'll definitely be doing it again. Thanks Missy for the inspiration. Um, check out the links down below. Like I said, pop over to the cherry on top blog because there's all kinds of inspiration on how to use your tiny stamps. And I think we'll probably be having some challenges to do such a thing in the message boards as well soon. So um, thanks for watching y'all. Bye.